It is Monday, May 15th, 2023, and today we're doing a pretty cool match, I think, here. Bob Backlund versus Shawn Michaels when he was, uh, shortly after he the Rockers ended, he, he uh, put Marty Jannetty through the barbershop window, Rudis Beefcake's talk show. He, uh, this is the kind of the look he had, so these are both community creations. And, and uh, I got a, a Bob Backlund here that uh, he wrestles with his jacket on for some reason with the community creation. But it was, he, look, he looked good, so I, I let him wrestle with his jacket on. It says uh, Bob Backlund with a jacket on. Maybe it was cold in the arena or something. Against uh, Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels. I think this is his WrestleMania 8 look, I believe. If, if you go back, he wrestled Tito Santana at WrestleMania 8, and I think this is the look he had. So it's a it's a... Early singles career, Shawn Michaels, and that's right after he left the tag team of the Rockers against uh, Bob Backlund. I guess probably around 1980, Bob Backlund, when he was the, the champ. He he was a uh, champ from I believe 78 to 83. So got so by yeah, should be good here. Bob Backlund, Shawn Michaels. I'm trying to think if these guys ever fought one on one. I'm not, I'm not even sure, but just. Uh, so this this uh they probably fought because Bob Backlund was wrestling in the 90s in WWF. I'm sure there was a match some at some point with Shawn Michaels, but I could be wrong. I'd have to look that up. But so it's nice. I don't know if this is a this isn't really a fantasy match because it, it could have ha if it didn't happen, it could have happened in, in the in the uh, in the 90s late, late 80s early 90s when Backlund was in there. Backlund had in there and he was uh. I guess it was about 10 years after his, his uh, championship run in the 70s and 80s. He came back in the 90s and uh, became like a... He was a good guy. He became like a bad guy in, in uh, Bob Backlund. He was acting crazy and stuff. And it was a... Uh, changed his character quite a bit from what he was in the 70s. So we got we got to uh, see who's going to win this. But... This is, I just thought of this match today. I just thought it'd be a cool match if they if they ever fought to be if they didn't fight. They can the two guys that can put on a good match, uh, fighting each other is have a good match. So I was I was uh, ready. I'm ready for uh, Monday Night Raw tonight. So we'll see what's gonna happen on Monday Night Raw. So so. Uh, Who's gonna watch Raw tonight? So I'm sure a lot, a lot of, a lot of people. Well, there's always a few million. And uh, we'll, we'll uh, see. I guess they're gonna. Some of you, um, look here what they are gonna do tonight here. Oh, they're gonna battle royal to determine the challenger for Gunther. And they got uh, Cody Rhodes is gonna be on it. Miz versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Just looking at the the, the notes here for the a pre there's a preview here on the. Internet to see who's gonna be on uh, Raw tonight. Yeah, I like battle royals are always fun. We'll see see uh, Gunther is it gonna fight or Gunther. Gunther. I don't know how they how to pronounce it. Gunther, Gunther, Gunther. But but uh, he's he's gonna. I guess, I'm guessing maybe he's gonna fight next week or maybe at the pay per view. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, We'll see what happens. I'm sure it'll be fun. So I, I'm person said that I've never seen a bad Monday Night Raw. They're either good or great because I, I always watch it, and enjoy it. I guess the the bad ones are good, and the the ones are that are good are great to me. I never turned off a Raw and go, that was so awful. I was, I'm sorry I watched that. I just yeah, I was always because I just love to. This is not. I just love wrestling to uh, too much to uh, not uh, enjoy it to some extent. It, it would have to be really bad for me to really hate it. But but uh. My yes, yeah, so and my favorite uh, the WWF in the 80s was my favorite time when when uh, Hogan was the champ and Andre the Giant was running around and Macho Man, Ultimate Warrior, those guys are there. And then then I like the I like the Stone Cold and the Rock and stuff, but the, the, that time period was was great, but it was second to the how it was in the 80s to me. Then the Br Bruno in the 70s was uh, a lot of people liked the when Bruno was the champ. Defending the belt at the Garden, Madison Square Garden. 
but is everybody's everybody got a favorite era of professional wrestling? But yeah, it's like the, and you got you go way back to Gorgeous George and guys like that. Who remembers Haystacks Calhoun? Six hundred and one pounds. He, yeah, he was he was he was a he was a big he was a his prime was the seventies. I think he was in our sixties and seventies. He was in uh, guys like that. Or, or, uh, and Angelo Mosca and um, Ivan Putski. I should have a match with Ivan Putski at some point. Ivan Putski and Jesse Ventura. I don't. I think they. I don't think I've had that match yet. That 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 was a good feud. They had the arm wrestling challenge and stuff. So I should do Ivan Putski versus Gunta. That's what I should do. Ivan Putski versus Gunta. Just do that match. Oh, nice kick by Shawn Michaels. Let's we'll see if that ends it. You got one, two, kick out. And then let me know if you want to see Ivan Pusky versus Gunta. All right, let's see, let's see uh, Bob Backlund. I got to get a Backlund without the jacket. It's 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 silly. He's wrestling with a jacket, but I'll go with it for now. We'll just we'll just pretend the air conditioning was on too high. And he was freezing. He threw a jacket on for the match. But but uh, Shawn Michaels is forearm back and right out there. HBK got another finisher. Let's see if he gets the not no dirty pin there. Oh, he's going. To, I think he was going for the kick down. It looked like it. Let's see if Backlund come back and uh, get him. Backlund uh, did the the uh, cross face chicken wing. It's kind of a and yeah, he was there. Okay. Made me think. I always made me think of the Cobra Clutch, but it was like it was different. All right, here we go. Let's see if Shawn Michaels hits this to end it. This might end it. Oh, he missed it. All right, yeah, that would have ended it probably if he hit that because he just hit him with another one. Now Backlund's to, gonna do some. Backlund was big with amateur wrestling and stuff like that back then. Let's see if. Uh... Oh yeah, this looks like the. It's a variation of the crossface chicken wing, similar to it. Shawn Michaels just fought his way out of that. Again, this is another... I'm having a pin-only match, so it won't end with a cross face. It'll wear him down, though, so he can get a pin. Backlund. Now, I've never seen Backlund do that, backflip off the top rope like that. He was a... He mostly... He wrestled... He was a more mat wrestler, Bob Backlund. He wasn't a high flyer like that, but... I guess that's in his move set. Whoever created my Bob Backlund, I got here. Yeah, Bob Backlund, he, wore, he liked to wear red tights, blue tights, uh, green, I guess. He was this way. He wore, he wore very plain, uh, nothing very colorful like what Shawn Michaels has on. He wasn't that kind of a colorful wrestler like that. He just was He was just a good wrestler. Because as always, he was good. He fought Bret Hart and stuff. He was also a good wrestler. Bret Hart had was more more colorful stuff he wore, but he would, he would uh, do really good matches. So I like the guys that were really good at just pure wrestling, like Bob Backlund and Bret Hart, and could put on a real good wrestling match. Because it's some people turn in for tune in for the promos and stuff like that, and I, I, I like I turn in for the matches, and I just want to see good quality wrestling matches occur. And I like when they want them to be as realistic as possible. So I like that's why I like Bob Backlund and Bret Hart and guys like that. I like the other guys too, like Hogan and Warrior and stuff that didn't put on big technical matches. They just kind of had a it's a lot of clotheslines and things like that. Let's see if Backlund kicks out as we we're nearing ten minutes on this match. All right, Shawn Michaels is uh, showing off for the crowd here. How's this Shawn Michaels? I should do Shawn Michaels versus Gunta. I should do that. Try that match. That'd be good too. I gotta do some matches with a with a Gunther because he he's uh he I like Gunther. He's gonna be a. I think he's gonna be a big star for a while. He's just starting out. Now we'll see if uh, we get a match here. A win here at 10 minutes. They're going at it pretty good here. I set this match to normal too. So I just said sometimes you set them to slow. They go really long. But I didn't put it. I didn't put it on fast. I, said, I think normal is probably the best setting on the matches. All right, here goes. There's Sean. I see Sean Michaels do something like that. Backland doesn't do things like that. So. And for those that don't know about Backlund. All right, let's see if... Uh, Back Backlund's a little more beaten up. We'll see if he can mount a comeback here. And 
get the win. Because Shawn Michaels is... Uh, Oh, here we go. This will end. If he hits this, this is over probably. I'll be surprised if he kicks out if he if he hits it. He hit it. All right, he's going to... This is probably it. If he kicks out of this, I'll be surprised. Yeah, he gets it. Shawn Michaels, the H HBK, beats Bob Backlund for today's match. All right, tomorrow's Tuesday. I'll see you then. This was match number 80 for those keeping score. Bye-bye.